In this video I'm going to show you how to install and use the software for the Isidra V3. This software part will be only supported on Isidra V3 with Isidra Control Board. Click the link from the video description below and go to the Isidra V3 product page. Scroll down to the software download section. First click this link and download the Axidra Inkscape extension. Extract it. Install it. After that click on the second link and download and install the Inkscape software. Now open the Inkscape. Click on Save. New Documents. By default, the page size will be A4 size. If you want to change the page size, Click on Files, Document Properties. Now you can see all the different page sizes here. Select one of these. Or you can change the height and width of the page here. After that close this. First let's draw an outline of an image. To import an image. Click on Files, Import. Now select the image. Click on Open. Click OK. Right click on the image and click on Trace Bitmap. You can change the threshold here if needed. Click Apply. Now we have created a path image. Now we have the delete the original image. If you don't know which one is the original image, use this path tool and select the image. When I select this image it's showing lots of nodes, which means this is the path image, so delete the other one. Right click and click on delete. To adjust the size of the image. Click on the site and drag in or out. To undo or go back one step. Press Ctrl plus E. For uniform scaling, hold the Ctrl key on the keyboard and drag the corner. Now let's connect the USB cable and the power adapter to the machine. Place the pen around half a centimeter from the paper. Manually move the machine to the top right corner of the paper. Now click on the extension. Axidraw control. Click on setup and change the pen height up to 75 and pen height down to 25. This will give the maximum pen up and down motion. You have to only do this once. Now click on plot. Click on apply. Let's draw again and see how to pause or stop the machine. To pause the machine, press this top push switch. Then the machine will pause and you will get this window. Click on OK. To resume click on resume. And make sure that this resume is selected and click on apply. Now the machine will resume from where it stopped. To reset and stop the machine, press the bottom push switch and then you can manually move it and start again. Now let's draw an image with shading. Let's import the same image here. Right click. Trace bitmap. Apply. Delete the original image. To add shading click on Extension. Axidraw Utilities. Hatch Fill. Hatch Spacing is the shading spacing. And these are the different settings for changing the shading style. Click on Help to know all the details about each setting. Click on Apply. Now we can draw it. Extension. Axidraw Control. Apply. Now let's draw the same image with different shading spacing. Now let's change the hatch spacing to 10. Click apply. If you want to see this in outline, you can go to view, display mode, outline. Now you can see an outline. Let's change it back. If not change to normal mode. Next time when we import the image it won't be visible. And you have to change this to normal mode to see it. Let's draw it. Now let's see how to do single line drawing. First, import an image. Right click. Trace bitmap. 
This time we have to select center line tracing. Click on apply. Now you can see the single line. Delete the original image. Extension. Axidraw control. Apply. Let's do the same single line drawing from a photo of handwriting. Now let's see how to do a multicolor image. Let's select this image. Right click. Trace bitmap. Click on multicolor. Select color. Here select the number of colors you want to separate, including the background. Select this to remove the background. Click apply. Delete the original image. Click on layers. So the layers window will open up. Here you can turn off and turn on the layers. Here there is no change in layers, so delete it. Now let's add shading. Drag and select the full image. Go to extension. Axidraw utilities. Hatch fill. Let's change the shading spacing to 1.5. Click. Apply. Close it. Now turn off all the colors except the color that we are going to draw. Place the pen. Now to draw, go to extension, Axidraw control, apply. After completing the pen part will go to the zero position. And you can put the next color pen. Now turn off this and turn on the blue color part and draw. Do the same for all the colors. Now let's see how to do the signature. Click on Files, Import, select the photo, click Open, click OK. Let's rotate it. Now we have to draw over the signature. The draw, select this pen tool. Click, click, double click to end. If you getting like this, click here. Then you will get this window. In Fill, select this, in Stroke Paint. Select this. Now it's single line. To draw a straight line, click. Click. Double click. To curve the line, click. Hold the click and drag and release. Hold the click and drag. Release. Double click to end. Now let's draw over the signature. Click. Hold the click and drag and release. Release the click. Hold the click. Release. Hold the click. Release. If you made any mistake when drawing, press Ctrl plus E to go back one line at a time. Like this draw in the order in which you wrote the signature. And double click at the end. Delete the original image. Drag and select the full signature. Click on Object, Group. Now you can save this anywhere, so you can open and use this anytime or open it in another document. Let's place three signatures of different sizes. To draw, click on Extension, Axidraw Control, Apply. Now let's see how to write text. First, select the text tool. Click and drag to create a rectangle. Type the text. Let's change the font size and make it bold. Now use the selection tool and select the text and click on path. Object to path. 
Now we can draw it. Extension. Axidraw control. Apply. Now let's do the text with shading. After path, object to path. Go to extension. Axidraw utilities. Hatch fill. Let's change the shading spacing to 2. Click on apply. Close it. Let's delete this one. Now we can draw it. Now let's see how to do single stroke handwriting text. Let's copy some text. Select the text tool. Make a box. Let's change the font size. Paste the text. To change the text into single stroke text, go to extension. Axidraw utilities. Hershey text. Turn on previews. Here you can select different single stroke fonts. After that click apply. Now to draw. Go to extension. Axidraw control. Apply. Now let's see how to use layers and use multiple colors. First, let's put a border. Select this rectangle tool. Click and drag. To remove the fill inside, click here. Then you will get this window. In, fill. Select this. In stroke paint. Select this. Now it will be an outline. Let's add a line. Select the pen tool. Click. Hold control for a straight line. Double click to end. We can also save this as a template. So next time when we want to use the same border, we can open it easily. To save the template, go to Files. Save Templates. Let's name the template as Border. Click on Save. Now to get that saved template, go to Files. New from Template. Select the template. Border. Double click. Now let's see how to use layers. Click here on Layers. This layer window will show up here. Now there is only one layer, which is the border. Click here to add layers. Click on add. Select layer 2. Let's add a text here. You can see layers 1 and 2 here. By clicking on this eye icon, we can turn on and turn off the layers. Now let's add another layer. Let's add single stroke text here. Let's add one more layer. This time let's add an outline image. First, let's draw the border. So turn off all other layers. So only the border layer will be visible. Now let's draw it. Let's use a pencil for the border. Now turn off the border layer and turn on the top text layer and draw. Like this, change it for all the layers. Now let's see how to set up for writing on a ruled paper. Go to Files. Document Properties. Enter the width and height of the page here. Now go to Grids. Click on New. Set grid units to millimeters. Change spacing X to 1000. Now you have to enter the line spacing of your page. This part is very important and it should be accurate. Enter it here. In a normal ruled notebook, the spacing will be 8.05. Change this to 1. Close it.
Now let's add some text here. Here adjust the spacing between base lines. So that the text will align with the lines. And manually adjust if needed. Now go to Extension, Axidraw Utilities, Hershey Text, select the font, Apply. Now place the pen on the top line, and the page should be exactly parallel to the machine, otherwise the text will go out of the line. Now let's write it. Now let's see how to add new single stroke SVG fonts. The link to download this will be in the video description. Download it. Extract it. Open the folder. You can open this image. These are all the font samples. Now go to Inkscape. Edit. Preference. System. Copy this extension folder directory. Click here. Paste it and click here. We have to copy and paste the fonts to this folder. Now go to the fonts folder which we have downloaded. Copy all the fonts. Now go to SVG fonts folder and paste it. Click on replace the files in the destination. Now if we want to use this font, EMS Pepita, go to Inkscape. Go to Hershey Text. Select Other given below. And enter the name of the font here. Click on Live Preview. Now we can see that font. Now let's see how to do scribble drawings, like this. Go to the product page description. And download the Dbot software and install it. Open Dbot. Let's draw this. It will be better to remove the background. So search background remover on Google. Open it and upload the photo. Download it. For better results, we have to edit it. Increase the contrast and highlights. So the features of the face will show more separation. Save it. Now open the Dbot software. To import an image go to Files. Import. Select the image. Click Open. In Drawing Area select the page size. In Crop Mode. Select Scale to Fit. Here enter the pen tip diameter. These are all the different sketching styles. These are the different pens and their shades. We are only using black. So, uncheck all other pen shades. Here you can change the resolution. Let's select another one. Now we have to export this. Go to Files. Export per drawing. Inkscape, SVG. Save. Let's drag and drop the SVG file into Inkscape. Click OK. To draw. Go to Extensions. Axidraw Control. Apply. Now let's see how to do multicolor scribble drawing. Open Dbot. Import an image. First open drawing area. Select the page size. In cropping mode. Select scale to fit. Here you can enter the pen nib diameter. Let's select high quality. Select any drawing style. Select the colors here. Let's select this drawing style. Now we can export it. Go to File, Export, Inkscape, SVG. 
drag and drop the exported SVG file into Inkscape. Here you will get a layer window. If this didn't show up, click here on the layer to get the layer window. Here you can turn on and turn off the layers. Now turn off all the layers except the color that we are going to draw. Let's only turn on the yellow color and put the yellow pen on the pen holder. Now to draw, go to Extension, Axidraw Control, Apply. Now turn off the yellow and turn on the blue color layer. Change to blue pen and draw. Like this do the same for all the remaining colors. To increase the speed of the machine, go to Extension, Axidraw Control, click on Option, change writing and drawing speed to 100, and pen up movement to 100, change acceleration to maximum. Now go to pen timing, change the pen lowering speed to maximum, go to advance, check this. This will show the time taken after the drawing is completed. In plot optimization, select full, also low path reversal. Now let's draw and see. Go to plot, apply. This is the real time speed. Here you can see the total time it took to complete the drawing. Now let's see how to reset Inkscape settings. Go to Edit, Preferences, System, Reset Preferences, then restart the Inkscape. Now all the settings will be default settings.